Engine Prime version 1.6 now has flexible or multi-tempo beat grid support. You can now manually place various tempo anchors throughout a track to change the BPM entirely. This is useful for transition or multi-genre tracks that have intentional tempo changes. First, find a track that contains multiple tempos and load it to the deck. For this example, I will use a track that features two basic drum loops. The first loop has a tempo of 80 beats per minute. The second loop has a tempo of 134 beats per minute. As you can see, the track was incorrectly analyzed at 117 beats per minute. Let's correct that now using flexible beat grids. When editing grids, it's always best practice to zoom into the waveform to ensure the grid markers are positioned tight against the transients. Next, show the grid edit controls by clicking the anchor icon from the deck panel on the left. Drag the waveform and position the playhead to the left of the first downbeat. Here, you will drop your first anchor point and manually type in the starting BPM for the track. If the BPM is correct, the grid markers will align to the transients. Next, verify the grid alignment throughout the first section using the beat jump feature. Once you reach the section where the tempo changes, you'll notice that the grids are no longer aligned to the transients. To correct this, add an additional anchor point where the tempo changes and then manually type in the new BPM for this section. If the BPM is correct, the grid markers will again align to the transients. Now verify the beat grid alignment throughout the section using the beat jump feature. If everything looks good, lock the beat grid to ensure the grid will not be affected during reanalysis. Now, when you play the track, you'll notice the BPM changes as the playhead passes the flexible beat grid anchor point. Okay, so we've manually set the beat grid for our multi-tempo track in Engine Prime. Now, I'll show you how to sync the track on an Engine OS device. First, load two tracks to the decks ensuring that at least one of the tracks is multi-tempo and has been properly gridded in Engine Prime. Next, sync both decks and start playback. You'll notice the tempo changes on both decks as the playhead passes the BPM transition point that we identified in Engine Prime. Smart consoles now feature a master button on the display which allows you to change the primary sync deck when syncing a multi-tempo track.